What's poppin' YouTube? I'm Chris and today I'm coming at you guys with another episode of Extreme Cheapskates. I love making these videos and these are some of the most popular videos on my channel so I'm back with another episode. If you haven't seen any of the other episodes I've done so far make sure you guys go check those ones out on my channel. But before we get into it be sure you guys smack that like button, smack that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you guys get notified whenever I upload. So let's just hop right into it. <laughs> So here we are with America's cheapest mother, and let's see, let's see what we got. She got a nice house. My kids are total cheapskates. They know we don't waste anything. You eat every bite of food on your plate, pick up every penny you see. Good job, mister. I'm Jordan Page, and I'm the ultimate cheapskate housewife. Hey. You want to sit here? Okay. You can sit here. A typical family of five can spend up to $3,000 a month on household necessities. Hey guys, you ready to eat some breakfast? But Jordan, a 27-year-old housewife in Utah, spends less than half of that. The juice, we water it down big time. One part juice to five parts water. You guys want some waffles? Yeah! That's not even juice at that no, point. I'm not wasting anything, and the way to do that is... We call it rationing. I'm gonna give you guys some cereal, okay? We're gonna give you 14, so tell me when to stop. Ready? What? And remember, you need to eat all your Cheerios, or next time you only get 12. On a scale of 1 to 10, of being a cheapskate, 10 being the highest. Why don't you just, why can't you pour it into the thing? Like, why, why can't you just eyeball it why does it have to be exactly 14 pieces i guarantee you he's gonna eat all of it anyways regardless if you give him 14 12 15 27 he's gonna eat the cereal so i feel like that's just that's extra i'd probably say at 11 or 12. okay priya you ready for your two lines of waffles yeah. waffles are awesome because they have those lines like a grid and so hutch is three so he gets three lines of waffles and i know that that's how much he can eat this is breast milk here, and we okay. love it because it's free. While they're young and they don't eat very much, I freeze as much breast milk as possible so that when they're done, then I still have a few months worth frozen to stretch it that much farther. People a lot of times think some of my methods That's are weird. a little extreme. That's really weird. Yeah. Oh, Bacon's for Christmas. They think I'm a little crazy, but uh, I don't know if I care <laughs> because it works. How much toilet paper do you think Hutch should have? Jordan has found some of the biggest savings in the bathroom, cutting her family's use of toilet paper from 300 rolls a year to only 40. The way to stretch your money is to make everything count. Three. Three? Should we do three? Okay, let's rip one. Three. How much do you think Daddy should use? Um, four. Jordan Oops. always harps on me for using too much toilet paper. Okay, let's try it. It's a sensitive subject. But she wants to at least what? try and make You're rationing out your toilet paper? I feel like that's that's you're you're crazy. You're absolutely insane. Like what's what do you get out of rationing off toilet paper? Because if especially for the grown man in the house, the dad, he's just gonna end up grabbing the roll and ripping it off the roll and wiping with it anyway, so I don't understand what the need for that is and how that saves money at all. Make that roll go farther. Four. Awesome. Okay, now put that under daddy's. When I met Jordan, she would always find a way to get a deal on something. Shortly after we were married, an opportunity arose for us to build what we thought would be our forever home. Things changed with the economy really fast and suddenly we couldn't qualify for the loan for the house but we had already built the house losing the house really triggered in my opinion her being an extreme cheapskate today the page family is financially back on track and their extreme saving measures allowed them to purchase a million dollar home million but jordan dollars. didn't spend nearly that much the original owners bought it for over a million and we got it on short sale for about 450000 Then we were scrappy and we sold the basement apartment to my parents for half. So we paid two twenty-five dollars for this huge, huge house that we love. Okay, now I'm impressed by that. You somehow got a million dollar house for $400-something thousand dollars and then sold half of it to your parents, which was genius. 
So you only paid two hundred something thousand for a one million dollar house. That I could get behind. I'm I I'm okay with that. I accept that. That's that's good. That's real good. So much. They live a lifestyle that would lead one to believe that they're much more affluent than they are. She has an innate ability to be able to do that, and I've always admired it. Because I'm willing to pretty much do anything to save a buck. I was just wondering if you guys had any food that you're not using, like leftovers. She's not proud. It's like, hey, She's so vacation. confused. You dipped out your fridge, bring it over. <laughs> People are still willing to give her food. Hey, Chris, how's it going? I was actually wondering if you guys had any leftovers or any food that you're not using. Um, I've got some lettuce. Sometimes I'll give her eggs. Some and lettuce. sometimes some stuff from our garden. But I know that she's very frugal. And so I know she's probably going to put it to good use somehow. Hey, <laughs> Have a good one. Hey, bye. Bye. Jordan's monthly food bill comes out to a mere $180. Thanks to her creative money saving her whole solutions. Family. So, this is what I like to call an end loaf. <laughs> In our house, we go through a lot of bread, and a lot of people don't like to eat the heels of bread, but Bubba likes it, my kids love it, and it's still good. So, after a while, it makes an entire loaf worth. Jordan's been trying to find out even more ways. Um, of okay. I think using the end of the bread, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, use the whole loaf of bread, sure. Why not? But you're saving it and putting it in its own bag, making its own loaf. So that first piece that you put in there is going to be like two to three weeks older than the newest piece that you put in there. And the end piece is probably going to end up being moldy and stale and nasty. And then you just got, and then now the whole loaf is contaminated. And now you got to replace the whole loaf. So. That part, I'm a little iffy on. Cheapskate at home. So one of the ways that she tried was dashboard cookies. A neighbor of mine, she gave us some cookie dough <laughs> that was about to expire. I bake cookies without using any power, and it doesn't make your house hot. With the car temperature at 160 degrees, she's finished baking for free in two hours. And it's this cheap thinking that's led Jordan to her newest and perhaps most extreme penny-pinching plan yet. Two hours to bake cookies on the dashboard of your car. Not only are your cookies sitting there out in the open on the inside of your car, bugs flying around everywhere, but... You, it, they're sitting in there for two hours. Are they really good at that point? Like, do they not taste stale at that point for sitting out for hours? There's a new trend with backyard farming where I think we have plenty of space in the back and we're fenced. But um, I think Wait if we, a minute. No, no, hear me out. We could raise a pig and then get a ton of pork out of it. You can pay upwards of 350 per dozen for eggs. You pay 10 bucks for a chicken. Six chickens later, you're getting a half dozen eggs a day. I mean, that's incredible. That's great savings. What would our neighbors think of that? Our neighbors might think we're crazy, but I think we could prove them wrong. We could just look into it. Okay, so she wants some chickens and maybe a pig. That's fine, I guess. Oh my gosh, look at all these chickens. Nothing wrong Jordan with that. spends only 3.5% of the family's income on food, two-thirds less than the national average. Today, she hopes to lower that number even further. We're in the market for some farm animals. What do you want to look at? Well, can we start with chickens? Absolutely. Okay. The research I've done has shown that you can raise your own animals for a fraction of the cost as it would be to buy an organic package of meat or eggs or milk at the grocery store. Yeah, just hold it like this. Hold nice and firm. Nice. Don't let it get away. So how many yeah. eggs will each chicken lay? Chicken will lay an egg about every 26 hours. Oh, that's awesome. That's like a half dozen a day. That's a lot of eggs. As soon as the chickens start squawking and making noise, her neighbors are going to be irritated with it. Here are yep. some goats. Hi. Now... 
I don't see anything wrong with raising chickens for some eggs because as long as you know what you're doing and you're keeping up with the chickens properly, I mean, they're just pets that provide you some eggs. I don't see anything wrong with that, but he's right. The neighbors are going to get pissed off with chickens walking around, clucking and hooting and hollering in the middle of the night and people trying to sleep, so. Especially with the goats when they poop on her lawn. She's not going to like that. <laughs> Have you milked a goat before? Um, that would be a negative. What? We go through a lot of milk. And Please tell me they're not about to milk a go. Give us 12 bucks worth of milk a day. That's awesome. We actually can't have a pig where we live, but could we buy one and then just have it raised here? And then sure. we'll collect when it's big and fat. Yes. Ready for bacon? Yeah. So this baby would cost $80 then you would have to pay $30 a month in feed. At least the baby pig's going to stay here, so we don't have to take care of it. In See, six months. That's, that's a good alternative. Buy the pig and keep it at the farm where you bought it from and let the farmer raise it. Because the farmer knows what he's doing, the farmer's going to take care of it, and it's not going to bother any neighbors. I think that's the way that they should go. The pages will be able to have bacon every day for a year at hundreds of dollars below store prices. And honestly, that amount of bacon you know that might actually be worth it but we'll see how it goes oh, oh my god is that the pig i have no idea what it's gonna be like Oh, those are the goats chickens. and chickens in our backyard. Hopefully, they can't get out. Can we let him go right here? Do you Look want to it. pet one? They love it here. They really oh. bought some chickens. <laughs> I thought she was just oh, playing. God. They really bought some chickens, and they got a goat, bro. <laughs> they really well, wilding out the back there. This business. That's a great start to having animals in our house, huh? Not what we have in our backyards. Uh, usually there are swing sets and swimming pools and things like that, but not farm animals. <laughs> and the pig's okay back at the farm? He's doing just fine. <laughs> Fatten him up, Bubba get, wants bacon. Fat. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> she don't even like the chickens. Look at what you did. <laughs> oh, honey, they won't oh, hurt you. <laughs> After the costs of feed, shelter, and vet bills, Jordan will reach her savings goal in two months. The chickens, they would be laying half a dozen eggs a day. The goats, saving 12 bucks a day on a gallon of milk would be pretty awesome. Are we cut out to be backyard farmers? I don't but, know. But, I mean, it's goat's milk, though. It's not the same thing as cow milk. You know what I'm saying? Like, pouring goat milk in your Fruit Loops isn't going to be the same experience as pouring regular 2% cow milk in your cereal. So, his face describes how I feel. Like, I'm just, I'm very confused at some of the choices she decided to make. The numbers add up and something to be said for saving that much money. <laughs> All right. Now, now that video, it wasn't too bad, but she's just really extra. I think counting exactly how many pieces of cereal that your son's going to eat, I think that's extra cutting waffles, giving him exactly three lines of waffles. If I was that kid, I would be mad. I would be very angry if my mom doesn't give me an entire waffle. Like, you give me three quarters of a waffle, why can't you just give me that last row? So that made me kind of angry. Having her son pick up pennies on the ground, that's fine. Everybody picks up change off the ground when they see it every now and then. That's not a big deal. The farm animals, I can understand. I don't think there's a problem with raising farm animals in your backyard. It's just the issue of knowing what you're doing and being able to keep the neighbors from rioting and forming an angry mob at your front door. But other than that, I mean, she wasn't that extreme, but she could pull back a little bit, I guess. But that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of this video down in the comments below. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Don't forget to spank the like and subscribe button, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.